Welcome to an example on how to use the variation of parameters method to solve a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. Which means we'll be solving a differential equation in this form here. Notice how the coefficient of y double prime must be one and g of x would be non-zero if we have a non-homogeneous differential equation. So if p, q, and g are continuous on an open interval and y sub one and y sub two are linearly independent solutions of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, then a particular solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation is given by this formula here for big Y sub P, which we did derive in a previous lesson, which means we can find the general solution to the original non-homogeneous differential equation using this formula here for Y of X, where the sum of these first two terms would be the general solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, often called y sub c, the complementary function, and big Y sub p. So the steps we'll follow are number one, solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation to find y sub c, and then we'll use this formula here to find big Y sub p, and then we'll use the results of one and two to form the general solution. Let's take a look at our example. First thing to recognize is that we do have a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. So we'll begin by solving the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which would be y double prime minus four y prime plus four y equals zero. The function on the right would be g of x. And now because we have constant coefficients, we can solve this using a characteristic equation where a is equal to one, b is equal to negative four, and c is equal to positive four, giving us the characteristic equation r squared minus four r plus four equals zero. So we can solve this by factoring, but this time we'll notice the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. We'd have r and r. The factors of positive four that add to negative four are negative two and negative two. So notice how we have two real equal roots, and this will affect the form of the general solution to this homogeneous differential equation. Because we have two real equal roots, the general solution, or y sub c, will take on this form here. Notice how the second term has an extra factor of x. So y sub c is gonna be equal to c sub one times e raised to the power of two x plus c sub two times x e to the power of two x. Remember the nature of these solutions or roots do affect the form of the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation. So notice that y sub one is equal to e raised to the power of two x and y sub two would be equal to x times e to the power of two x. And now for the next step, we'll find big Y sub P, a particular solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation, and then we'll use Y sub C and big Y sub P to form the general solution. Before we set up the formula for big Y sub P, let's go ahead and determine the Ronskian of Y sub one and Y sub two. We'll have a two by two determinant, where the first row will be Y sub one and Y sub two, so we'll have e to the power of two x, and then x e to the two x. The second row will be the derivatives, so the derivative of e to the two x would be two e to the two x, and then for the derivative of x times e to the two x, we have to apply the product rule. That would be two x e to the two x plus e to the two x. And now the determinant is gonna be equal to this product minus this product. So we'll have e to the two x times two x e to the two x plus e to the two x, and then minus x e to the two x times two e to the two x. Let's go ahead and simplify this. So we'll have two x, adding the exponents, we'd have e to the four x, plus e to the four x. And then here we'll have minus 
2x e to the 4x. So this would give us zero, and therefore the Ronskin is equal to e to the 4x. Notice the Ronskin is never zero, which verifies that y sub one and y sub two are linearly independent and also form a fundamental set of solutions. Now let's go ahead and set up our formula for big y sub p, a particular solution. We're going to have negative y sub one or negative e to the two x times the integral of y sub two times gx. y sub two is x e to the two x. g of x is the quantity x plus one times e to the two x divided by the Ronskian, which is e to the four x. And then we'll have plus y sub two or plus x e to the two x times the integral of y sub one times g of x in the numerator. That would be e to the two x times x plus one times e to the two x divided by the Ronskian, which is e to the four x dx. Now for the next step, we'll simplify this before we integrate. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. Luckily, this does simplify nicely e to the two x times e to the two x would be e to the four x. So we have e to the four x divided by e to the four x, that would be one. And the same thing happens in the second integral here. This would be e to the four x over e to the four x. So we have big Y sub p is equal to negative e to the two x times the integral of, this would just be x times x plus one or x squared plus x dx plus x e to the two x and this would just be the integral of x plus one. So now we'll go ahead and integrate. We would have x to the third divided by three plus x squared divided by two and then plus x e to the two x. Here we'll just have x squared divided by two plus x. Now we'll go ahead and distribute and then combine like terms. Let's write this as negative one third x to the third e to the two x minus one half x squared e to the two x. And then here we'll have plus one half x to the third e to the two x and then plus x squared e to the two x. And we do have like terms. Here we have two x cubed terms and here we have two x squared terms. So we'd have big Y sub P is equal to, looking at the x cubed terms, the common denominator would be six. This would be negative two six plus three six, that'd be one sixth. So we have one sixth x to the third e to the two x. And then for the x squared terms, the common denominator would be two. This would be negative one half plus two halves, that's one half, so plus one half x squared e to the two x. So now using big Y sub P and Y sub C, we can form the general solution to the original non-homogeneous differential equation. The general solution Y of x is equal to Y sub C, which is C sub one e to the two x plus C sub two x e to the two x plus big Y sub P, so plus one sixth x to the third e to the two x plus one half x to the second e to the two x. That's going to do it for this example. We'll take a look at another example in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.